Hi friends! I thought that we could read a book today all about fossils. There's all different ways that we can study the earth. We can study plants, we can study the sky and clouds, we can study the weather. Some scientists even study dirt. But there's a lot of scientists that study fossils and they can learn about things that were on our earth a long, long time ago. Let's read about fossils today. Earth Science Fossils by Chris Bowman. What are fossils? Fossils are pieces or marks of ancient life. They are thousands to billions of years old. Some fossils are the remains of plants and animals. Others are just little traces of them. This dinosaur fossil is very cool. Fossils are found all over the world. Most are preserved in rocks. Some are frozen in ice that never melts. And others are stuck in hardened amber. It's like a rock that you can kind of look through. Do you see that little bug that's trapped in a see-through rock? Pretty cool. Few plants and animals become fossils. Most of them decay or get eaten. Remains must be buried to become fossils. That way, they don't break down. What do you think this fossil could be on this page? It looks like teeth. Pretty cool. Sediments cover up the remains. That's like sand or dirt. They keep the bones and the shells and the leaves from getting damaged. But over time, the sand and the mud slowly sinks. And over time, it hardens into a rock. Eventually, minerals enter the remains. So if there's bones in the ground, little minerals kind of get in there. The bones, shells, and leaves become rocks too. They have turned into fossils. In time, the rocks that are around the fossil erodes. That means that maybe it gets brushed away. The fossils move to the surface. That's how scientists can find them. Fossils of bones, shells, and leaves are called body fossils. They are the remains of living things. You see the one right down here? This one is a shell fossil. Trace fossils are marks of living things, like animal tracks, eggshells, or nests. They weren't alive, but they are a trace of something else. Do you see this woman over here? She is finding a trace fossil. It's a footprint. That's pretty cool. Mold fossils form when rock keeps the shape of a plant or an animal. Some minerals fill up the mold, and these fossils are called cast fossils. This fossil looks like a little bug or something got stuck in the mud. Scientists who study fossils are called paleontologists. They dig up fossils and then they figure out their age. They add the fossils to the fossil record. This is to track how plants and animals change over time. The best place to look for fossils are areas that used to be underwater. Quarries and coastlines are good spots too. Dig in to discover the past. There's a little project here that you can do if you want to be a paleontologist. You need clay, something called plaster of Paris, it's kind of like a gooey white stuff that gets really hard, and a shell. You can follow these instructions later with your family. If you'd like to read more stories with me, you can click the subscribe button below so that we can keep reading right here on a screen. And if you're interested in learning more things with me on a screen, I have a virtual preschool class. There's a link below for that too. We have lots of fun together. I hope to see you again soon. Keep reading.